more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Top billing. Expand and contract. That's exactly what the San Francisco 49ers specialize in. They can dominate you in the middle of the field. However, that's not going to be the case when they face them Philadelphia Eagles, baby. Fly, Eagles, fly. We're going to have something for that. We got to see the Seattle Seahawks go against these guys, and they run a very similar defense to us because your man Sean Desire was there last year helping them move from a 4-3 to a 3-4 base defense there. So they both work with that reduced package with the two linemen in the middle and then your two stand-up edge players, as we see here, very similar there. But... They just don't have the personnel that we have to combat stuff like this. The San Francisco gave them boys prison loving. Now, you see here, Kyle Juszczyk in motion. He's going to widen out. You get a lot of stuff happening right to the outside. You even get George Kittle right here banging that to the outside just so they can come behind that with an angle route and hit your man Christian McCaffrey on the inside. Now, of course, ours is going to be combated by the personnel. Hopefully, we wouldn't have too many times to where you got multiple linebackers just having to worry about a guy like Christian McCaffrey right there. You see right there, that's that's trouble right there. Absolute trouble. However, if it is the case, hopefully we're, we're prepared for it uh, because it could get out of hand there. One-on-one -on -one isolation play right here. Brock Purdy, magical in the middle of the field. No doubt about that there. Will be great to face him so they have no excuses for this ass whipping that they about to get or at least this L that they're about to take there. But make no mistake about it, they can dominate you and create from the middle of the field and they like to layer it as well. You can see it from this angle right here, uh, way too much airspace and opportunity created uh, by the widening of the defense right here. We're gonna have to have something for that. So if it takes it, Gonna have to be more and more man coverage, which we saw in the last game against the Buffalo Bills. They probably went to more man coverage on the inside than I think that I've seen. And a lot of that has to do with one Kevin Byatt and of course Brad Roby there. But gotta make sure you're on your P's and Q's and able to tackle this cat when he does get there and limit these games. Here's what you don't want. You don't wanna have to rely on zone with this particular team. They have sight adjust to where based on leverage, they will get the job done. You can see this corner route here by George Kittle. You can see the also the layering effect of this, right? It'll become a four level multi-layer effect, right? Levels concept there. But he ends up breaking this to the outside here based on Con Quandre Diggs' leverage there. But what we have going on is the same thing that they'll have going on right here in this particular play. Quick pressure, pushing Brock Purdy off his spot. Now he's a decent athlete. Uh, he can get it done out of the pocket, but when he's on the rhythm and timing portion of this and he's able to target the middle of the field, yeah, they become a lot more dangerous. But when you can do this to them, look at that. Uh, quick pressure by your boy Leonard Williams, and then you see that multi-layer effect right there. Just so happens he puts his George Killer outside. Look at the quick pressure right here, which we should dominate, especially on the inside if they're giving it up like that, right? Come on now. He's giving it up like a Kardashian sister. That's too easy. Look at that. Oh, the middle Kardashian sister, <laughs> right? Get that quick pressure right there, pushing him off the spot here. He could have went the use check in the flat, um, but he's got his mind made up to look deep to short here. But he had a num number of people, right? Debo Samuel who works on the inside, one of the best doing it. Brandon Ayuk can do that, but he's usually going to be working on the outside, and they hit him with those splash plays. But, of course, you check, use check in Kittle. But Kittle going deep right here. They just pretty much ran out of room because he was pushed off his spot there on that side adjust. But boom, made him land out of bounds with it. But that could have been problematic as one of those shots. Now look at the layering of this one. Kittle here working to the middle. You get the same deal right here with Debo Samuel. But then you get Brandon Ayuk on the outside here. Christian McCaffrey to the flat just for them to do what? Pull a block and release from you shake here to hit that bad boy in the middle and work with that yards after the catch. See it right there? Influence block, bang. Let him move the chains, right? Or get damn near close to moving the chains right here. Look at it from this direction here. I right, can't get that quick pressure. He's gonna make that quick decision right here. Even though Leo Williams, once again, getting into the lap of the quarterback, at least getting to his face, trying to impact the space. But, hey, you're still giving up that space in the middle of the field because you're running that zone. Going to need more and more man coverage right there because these guys 
If you give them an inch, they will take a mile. And they layer their routes, and they do a great job of running through the progressions, right? They cycle through them Jones, and they make sure, at the very least, that they're getting themselves four and five yards a pop. Corner route, pivot route, block and release off of a play action boot. So to get that PA boot, block and release right here, and you can see the layeredness right there in the middle. He just so happens to kind of miss this right here. It's a conflict of deployment. Bang, look at that right there. Turn that. Now look at the layering of this, right? You had that pivot, the corner route coming behind that. You had Kittle getting upfield as well. So he's going to be reading deep to short. He's not going to like that with Devin Witherspoon here sinking underneath. Now, follow this block and release right here and look where it goes, right? They not necessarily running a particular path. They're trying to run to the void of that zone. See it right here? Bang, that's it right there. You saw that path he took? He was originally going like this, and then he saw the void, and he started cutting up field. For some odd reason, Brock Purdy doesn't see that, but if he did see that, I probably was going to be trouble. But no, he keeps going on his track right there, and bang, fertilized. Twisted and fertilized. Look at it from this direction right here. Uh, now watch the layering of it. Kittle coming up there. Watch use check. You would think that he would be running right here. Kind of want a uh, shallow drag. However, your man diverts that and just runs to the void of the zone here. So that's why zone, too much zone right there can probably get you beat. You see him sinking underneath. Uh, Purdy has saw it. You can see him right now. He sees he is wide open. That's exactly what Kyle Shanahan wants in his offense. But uh, none to it but to do it. Bang. Fertilize that young man. What you don't want as well. Now, on their three by one set right here, the tight slot is going to have that option. Right? Depending on the leverage. You can already see the leverage right here. Debo Samuel coming off right there, reading the leverage of Bobby Wagner. Wagner with that inside technique. So he's going to bang that to the outside right there. That's just pretty much easy. Mad easy right there. You would hope that's Brad Roby or even on the third receiver on the inside, it would be, uh, man, maybe Eli Ricks, <laughs> right? That's how you would play that right there, putting that in, man. See right there? Uh, bangs it to the outside, works that yards after catch. Absolutely stealing. Giving them boys that prison loving. All right, here's us defending the inside receiver right here. Technically would be a tight slot. However, it's just a tight end flexed off right here. Man coverage, Kevin Byer, worth his weight in platinum. Even if he does not perform that well, or if he performs just adequately, it's still worth his weight in gold because it allows for the defense to do other things. This is pure man coverage. Get the man coverage, albeit off right here, but you can see Morrow out here on the running back, James Cook, letting you know it's man coverage. You got middle field posted right here, right? They closed off the middle of the field and nothing but man coverage across the board. That's how they want to play it. But you see right here, they're running these interference routes, getting the tight end on the edge out here and doing it like that. We have to be able to get a little bit better with that. You know, San Francisco will see stuff like that when you're in man coverage and make it real difficult for you there. But as you can see, Byard has to try to climb over the top of James Bradbury right here on the inside of Gabriel, right? So he actually goes there and then on the inside following behind him, the tight end goes, which makes Morrow have to come out here and do it, play the long game with it. But you can see he still tracks him now, but it's still too big of a gainer right there. Uh, leaves them in second and one or two right there. That's when it becomes problem. That's when they'll take their shot down the field with the Brandon IU. Similar deal right here, man coverage. Folks see this, right? Because this was happening in prior games that I kept telling you about with the inability in man coverage to run banjo. So they're still not running banjo right here, but you get these switch releases. Uh, buy it right here over the tight end. The tight ends are uh, working an out route off that switch release. Then you have uh, the inside receiver, Stefan Diggs, with Slade under him, running pretty much a pivot to the outside there. And um, a buyer does a good job of getting on top of this right here, making it a little bit more difficult. Oh, you see that? Luckily, Josh Allen might be a little bit overrated, <laughs> right? Very talented cat, but might be a little bit overrated because if you see right here, they blew Slay's hamstrings all up out of his jeans. <laughs> all of his hamstrings is out of his jeans, bro. Look at that. It's trying to transition right there. 
Stephon Diggs left that man in no man's land, but Josh Allen didn't see it. And uh, he would have hit Stephon Diggs right here. He probably would have turned up the field and got this first down. However, your boy buy it all over the tight end right here and he forces a bad pass. Great job by buy it right there. Check it out from this direction here. You can see them having to get over the top, which was a wider angle. But uh, you can see right there your boy Slay's hamstring right there rolled all up into his ass, up into his back. You can see right there it was like bah, like a shotgun blast. Rolled up into the small of his back right there. And y'all know what he would have said. I think I played an amazing game this week, man. <laughs> but, but he didn't have to say that, right? <laughs> hard right there so you get what i'm saying right there more man coverage they started to work more man coverage which is kind of tough on the outside you're definitely gonna have to switch that up with james bradbury he can't survive in man coverage all day long um but he's gonna be juiced up when everybody calling him trash from the san francisco 49ers and all that there so uh we shall see man they gotta play us so it is what it is. All I know is Philadelphia coming up out of that bad boy 11 and 1, and we shall reconvene a little bit later. All right? That being said, it's your boy Jersey Murph. Make sure you're sharing the content. Do your boy a favor. Share the content on message boards and social media. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend that this is where it's at. Make sure you tip your waiter because you know I'll be serving a hibachi. Much love to the entire state of Jersey. Much love to everybody out there in Delhi. Um, Delaware, of course, and Elton, Maryland, and the entire Philly, especially Southwest Philadelphia. Let's get it. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing.